Pavise God. <laughs> step forward but we're making space for for Enish. Four footmen, two arbalists, two donkeys. Well we're gonna do it at night so we don't get uh, memed on by the arbalists. dudes one donkey I feel like I saw a movie like that it's nice nice fat decapitation there uh, we'll, we'll crush the supply caravan I'm sure of it my only fear is that they are blessed my weak guys in the back really on everyone uh, I kind of like being able to hit them with pikes from in the back row hey sweet some dies four footman is not enough versus 12 melee it's true so sadly we get cucked out of melee skill again on Son of Love. Um, it is what it is. The pikemen are most likely to get memed on. Well, the, the problem is that... Oh, you know what? I think maybe I should stick a two-handed mace on, on Enish. So he busts right through the armor instead of using the longsword. Of course, he'll be huff huffing even harder than usual if I do that. Um, yeah, I guess we could give military picks and shields. Yeah, he's got sword mastery, so it's not going to do quite as well. Um, oh, Son of Love could go ahead. Go ahead and get some kind of mastery. Hmm. I think we just get nine lives on him, actually. Let's continue building for survivability. Or we could just give him gifted right now. Which would be kind of nice considering his hilariously low melee skill. It kind of looks like he needs the gifted, actually. Yeah, he does. At least crack that 60 barrier, you know? Okay, um... I will keep some pike, guys. But we're going to equip military picks on rogue shenanigans. And uh, son of love. Okay, and... Um, regarding the mace... I guess we could use it. Um, 0 to 47 can ignore armor. 0 to 26 can ignore armor. Flex 80 to 109 to armor. 
So, the sword actually inflicts about the same amount to the armor. Inflicts 20 extra fatigue. Uh, tempting. Strike down actually stuns for two turns. It's H HP well through the armor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, so the biggest problem really though is the shield rather than the armor. Because the thing about the sword is like the extra accuracy means that I can hit even though there's a shield. I suspect we're going to want to use some nets here by the way. Probably start my pike dudes out with nets since they're not going to be super duper useful here. Um, and the thing is that these fights last so long that like he's going to be huff huffing really quickly, right? So I don't think I can afford to hand him something he's not proficient with. I could give Mazanaka the two-handed mace, even though he's got cleaver mastery. Give the spear dudes... Oh, that's, that's true, I could do that. I don't have any shields. I don't have any shields for them, though. I foolishly sold all my kite shields. I guess I have this uh, wooden shield. Flails are king in footman battles. That's a that's a good point. I mean, really, I should be I should be giving these guys flails instead of military picks. Now that I think about it, hmm. But yeah, this this Scramasax is kind of bad. Even though he's got cleaver mastery, let's let's give him the big ass mace. Mazanaka the big ass mace. Or maybe give Blokes the big ass mace, because he's the more tanky of the two. Hmm. Enish would do do well with the with a duelist sword? Maybe. Yeah, I don't I don't hate pikes in these battles, by the way. T2 Cleaver doesn't really cut the mustard. No, not in armor fights. For sure. Axes might not be bad here, even though they're just hand axes. I could destroy... Let's see. Let me take a look. Uh, inflicts 12 damage to shields. Yeah. So... A kite shield has... Oh, 48. 12, 24, 36, 48. That's four hits. Still, you get two hits per turn. So, 12, 24, 36, 48. Now it's, it's four hits. Um, so it'd only take two guys one turn for each, each uh, shield. That's definitely one way to do it. And I kind of feel better about that than flails since... Um, well, no, because there's not going to be enough room to work to get each guy. I mean, unless everybody had a, an axe, I guess. Um, I wish these dudes didn't have boar spears. I guess I can give them, give them military picks, I suppose. My accuracy is way down here. I think this is okay, though. Yeah, we're trying to take out the armor. Unfortunately, all that stuff was all busted up, so we're going to need to camp for a bit, which is fine because we wanted to take this at night anyway. Three tools and supplies. Gonna have to be good enough, it's about to be morning. Okay, we're gonna have to rush forward. They definitely have more range than me. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't have rushed quite that hard. Um Whoops. Big whoops. Um Do you have nine lives? You do not. That's okay, we'll put dudes next to him and we'll shove enemies out of the way. That was a, that was a, that was a big whoops, okay.
Definitely. We're okay. They missed. Okay, doesn't he has his net out? Keep him behind. Alf has rotation. Ah, that's true. We can put Alf right there, perhaps. Um. Okay. Mazanok is going to come down here and sort of beat stuff down as he as he comes up the flank. Wow. They're not even coming forward. But in that case, um, I'm going to go totally wild with Enish. He'll step forward and slash through and hit the Sarbalester. Oh, they're not going for him. Alrighty. Well, if they're just going to camp, that's that's fine. This is exactly why I sent this guy so far forward, by the way, is like... It seemed reasonably likely this would happen, considering that they have ranged and we don't. Well, we have this guy, I guess. Alrighty. Fingers crossed. If we're lucky, we kill the Arbalester. No. Nope. Problem is turn timing. Yeah, I probably should have waited. That was a not good shot. No problem. Ah, yeah. That is true. No, Enish will be fine. Okay, I hope these guys step forward. I am going to... I want to be able to cudgel one of these dudes, so we're just going to wait. That's a regular crossbow, I think. Not a, not a light crossbow. Um, Alright, so we could net one of these dudes, but I actually want them to come forward if possible. They probably won't. They'll probably just go to these two tiles. Um, well, actually, no. If he's there, that's good enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait with the net guy. Just like we'll wait with Stormworm. So we'll try to net one of the dudes that Stormworm can hit. Alright, Elka Soup is not my first choice of dudes to be in front. Um, however, he should be okay up here. He only has a 12% chance to hit Mr. Shieldwall, man. Um, so instead, we're just going to sort of set up our own shield wall. Uh, however... I think Blokes is going to get right into the thick of it. This will also force this guy to... He has to go here, or over here. Um, he's not going to just stand there, there's no way. Okay, um... Let's wait with Delight. Let's... Wait with Son of Love. And we'll wait with Alf. Letting these guys come forward. Um, rogue shenanigans could be here, and he will be here. Shield walling. Okay. Um, depending on where this guy steps, we could get a couple shots with Son of Slug City. So, we wait. There it is. Okay. 42% chance to hit. I could split the shield, actually. It looks 20 damage. Nah, it's take like three hits to take it down. I just have to swing. Nice! Almost killed him through the armor. It's amazing. Uh... I do probably still want to net him, even though he's about to die. On the other hand, Alf is going to just do the work on him, so... Let's net the guy with more HP, yeah. Sort of tempted to net the Arbalester, but... Okay, let's take a step back with Severe. He has no shield out. 
43% chance to hit. Big fail. Um, okay, you know what we're going to do? Just pump their defense. I didn't really want Son of Love to be this far out here, but he's fairly tanky. And as I thought, I'd be able to kill with Alf. Let me step forward. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to step here. I can't. I can't rotate, unfortunately, because I need somebody to rotate with. But the idea is that I I wanted to be like sort of between. Um, rotate with Enish. I can't do that, he's too far away. Enish is up there. Or do you mean with... Do you mean with Mazanaka? We could rotate with Mazanaka, although... I have a suspicion that... Uh, Alf is actually better because he just walks right through these shields. He'd be able to swing anyway. Oh, yeah, I guess he wouldn't be able to if he... If I don't get dudes out of the way. His turn's over, though, so that'll happen next turn. We have to go here if we want to get a javelin off. And it fails. Hmm. Missed the Arbalester. Cucked. Okay, Masanok is actually taking legitimate damage. Despite... Despite Nimble. is um, not ideal. 54% chance to hit the netted footman. Okay. Um, we just shove. We fail to shove. Um... Shield wall then. No mileage out of Stormworm today. Uh, have him set up a flank. Let's abuse some netting it since uh, Mazanaka's having some issues. have to get Mazanok out. The cool thing is that Alf can just rotate again, so it's not a huge deal, really. 69% chance to hit this guy. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. 45. 38. 31. Much intense, very emotion. <laughs> nice, rip deer. Okay, we ro rotate Mazanaka out. Let me just whap somebody. Bleeding is going to be quite useful. What is the required character score for random events? Uh, what what events are you referring to? Yeah, it would be nice if uh, Mazanaka had a spear. Maybe I should have given him one. For after the rotation. Usually he has a sword and board, though. Well, cleaver and board anyway. Uh, I think I think that's not really a score thing. I think that's a time thing, Elka Soup. It's like every every X days, maybe like ten days. Somebody told me this once, but I don't quite remember what the number was. All 
Alright, this battle is about to turn very, very sour for them. It's all about preparation, being able to fight these guys with big-ass shields. Enish might need to get out soon, too. 29% chance to hit the footman with the military pick. Not a lot of use out of the military picks, but I, I have a bunch of guys with poor melee attack using them, so... Score equals 3. Yeah, I, I don't actually know. Someone else might, though. Um, I think I might knock this dude back. And then we could step forward with rogue shenanigans. JK. Death fatigue. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get Enish out somehow. Um This guy actually broke his shield wall, so he could swing I think twice there. more like 40 um, but he has no armor left and he's he took several hits there I mean I could put him right back into the fray I guess but oh no that's not Enish that's Mazanaka derp uh, yeah I guess Enish is fine he's missing 10 HP from the last fight oh was he Okay, Arbaluster locked down. No, I already I know about that event. Elka soup, I spoiled myself there. I haven't seen it personally, but um, I think if you have more boyers, there's more chance more chance of it to um to activate, even though it can only activate once. Also, I think your boyer has to be above a certain level. Maybe level six. The the wiki should tell you. Nice. Ho oh, ho. Full on fleeing now, are we? Everybody's fleeing. Oh yeah, we're, we're breaking out the knives. We're gonna break some of this stuff, unfortunately, as they run. None of that rusted chunk. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, I would have liked to have gotten the hat, but, uh, what can you do? Guess we could have just been attacking this Arbalester, his armor's already busted.
Okay. Right, Son of Slug City doesn't have a dagger. It's not a 0% chance. That's true. Well, it's not the end of the world if we don't get it. shirt and we got a male hauberk. Best armor we've seen. Heater shields, three dies, a couple of crossbows, a bunch of kettle hats. All in all, really good loot and if we can make it back to the fort city, Would be good. Um, I have decided that we're never going to use the military picks on these guys until their melee skill is higher. Loot, loot, indeed. Okay, son of doesn't he has a low roll here? I think I'll just do this. You may really need gifted, but let's give him steel brow instead. Mm -hmm. The tank team continues. Super duper tanks. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this heavy ass armor is the thing. That's the, that's the funniest thing about this, is like, it's nice that I'm getting super heavy armor, but... Um, it's not really all that useful for my guys who are going to end up with Nimble, which is... Basically everybody. Hardly heavy armor. Well, it's... Yeah, but, you know heavier than I'd want for nimble. It's great for new characters. That's true. That's true. Well, pretty cool. Um, got some more heaters, I suppose. We probably do want every last nimble guy to have heaters for more melee defense I'm trying to decide if I want if I want Mazanaka to keep this hammer on or not shouldn't the bottom flail guys have pikes uh yeah they sh they should then they will um let's give this guy's cleaver back as sad as it is Heavy armor is still viable. Legendary gear having almost 400 each. It's a lot of armor HP. It's true. Of course, getting legendary uh, armor is easier said than done. Let's run on back to Furnishy's Feast. How's Slug Jr. doing? Uh, I think he may have died. Oh, there, there it is. Son of Slug City. Um, he's he's a javelin guy. He's our one ranged guy. He's doing well. 63 attack. How's our renown doing after that sweet caravan raid? 877. You 
think I won't run down peasants even though I'm super high level now? Oh, I don't think so. Actually, this is kind of a waste now that I think about it. Because I, I bought training. So I shouldn't have done this. This is just like a tool tax. As well. I don't know if we've named a Son of Marrow yet. Oh, good response to how is my son, I see. <laughs> uh, we got a... Where did we get the billhook? I think we got the billhook from a mercenary. The pikes, the pikes are from uh, raiders, actually. As is the longsword. Free XP. <laughs> kind of. Not too much experience. Merc group into a zombie stack, yeah. Yeah, I was just curious what the tracks were. Turns out... It's mercenaries. Now right, come on, fingers crossed, rebuilding effort still. This is still broken, so I'm gonna say yeah. No! Well, there's this, though. Oh, yeah, the mustering troops still makes the dice valuable. Not bad. You know, we should sell some of the picks, probably. Honestly, I don't see myself using picks, but if, if we end up with, like, an orc war, it would be nice, I guess, to have them. To break down orc warrior armor. I assume that's kind of good to have. Um, 40, 43, 43 inventory slots used. What are we doing on these kettle hats? Um... 130. Anybody who doesn't have nimble wants a nice big hat. 115. Oh, here we go. Now this cuts his vision down a bit. Do we really need vision with javelins, though? I mean, his vision... He's only ever going to have, like, a... Four tiles of range, you know? More if he's above... Let's give him the kettle hat, I think. Well, his fatigue is a bit of an issue, but the kettle hat pretty much doesn't have that problem. That's true, it does, and he does have throwing mastery. Okay, um, more tools for sure. We're good on food for five days. We could venture out into the wilderness for fun. I could level up Slug City, but eh. Well, I still think you, you need the bows for certain fights. Like, versus... It's, it's like, I think that the witches are literally impossible to fight safely. Unless you have a team of two, maybe three snipers. Uh, that's just, like, male. But yeah, I mean... I don't want to buy a guy who costs me 41 gold per, per day. Yeah, it's like 115 chain. 
Aren't most witch fights at night? It, do, it doesn't matter. Um, well, no, some are on the overworld, but even if it's at night, you still need to be able to snipe because it's like... They'll charm you from super far away. Alright, I need Renown. I really want to get more ambitions. Um, so actually what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go to C-Stop. Yeah, I, I don't know if you're just supposed to, like, cheese the witches down by having an insane amount of um, resolve, you know, so you just ignore the charm. Or, uh, I mean, the only way I've found to deal with them is by having aimbot sniper bow guys. We're kind of forging a dude into a bannerman slowly. Here's a quest. Dude, we have delivered so many demonic statuettes. I'm actually confused because of the fact that we've had such a lack of diversity in missions, you know? Okay, it's daytime, but I'm gonna fight the marksman anyway. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, it should be fine, right? We just have to kill them a few times. Just flank you yeah, that. Okay, maybe this time we're gonna wait. They'll shoot at me and then... They've passed turn, cool. So they don't get any free shots on me, yeah. Don't try to farm armor. I wasn't planning on it. Unless I saw something famed. Bloke's man can flank. He could. Mazanaka will also flank. Uh, too many pikemen, perhaps. Okay, we want we want to control the middle, so we'll put Alf here, um, and then Blokes is going to go to flank. Maybe assassinate that uh, gentleman. Gentleman Necromancer. <laughs> yeah, I guess we don't really have too many. Yeah, no, I, I know that, but um, that's sometimes easier said than done, considering. Although he doesn't have his uh, fallen hero bodyguard or anything, so. What's funny is he doesn't do anything until until you engage him because he, he doesn't have anybody to possess right now. No! My kite shield! Doesn't actually kill it instantly, apparently, just does a lot of damage. Alright. Buckaroo. I think we will, instead of trying to kill the necromancer with Mazanaka, we'll just lock down the archers. Hmm. If I were to move Severe forward, I could get an attack with rogue shenanigans as well. This is not ideal to have him up front like that, but this guy's gonna die super fast. Oh shit. I, I meant to do that one above. Shit. Um, well, I'm stuck in combat now. Nice. 
Nice. 5%, 12%, Okay, the light is here. Let's go for the kills, I think. I could give Bloke some help here, and I'd like to. This way we... By virtue of standing here, we mess with both of them. Forty-eight percent, forty-nine percent. Probably go for the weeder ganger first. Okay, I need this thing dead. Fuck. He can possess this thing now, though, so that's an issue. Oh, they have rotate, Bruh. some good rolls. He's gonna have like a million action points. Um, uh, I really screwed up my flank here. I could shove and start walking, I guess. 68% for that to work, and then we would have two squares of movement. It's probably best if I just fight. Although I would like to control the marksman again. We got some bleed. Let's put some more bleed up. Good. Didn't quite get through the armor though, unfortunately. 48%, 69. Well, he's bleeding now, so it worked out. Um, but yeah, the accuracy wasn't the best with the shield wall up. You're right, I should be shoving these guys, so I'm definitely messing up. Um, too late now, though. I can do it here. Okay, we have this dude next to us. Um, I think I might just bust out my Shamshir. He's not shield walling. Next romance or mischievous plan actually worked out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this guy moves next, and he's gonna like he's gonna get like six attacks or something, which is obnoxious. But um, if I swing on him, I might be able to kill him in two hits. Of course, we hit the head for some reason. I didn't lash. Um. I think I'll just shield wall. Okay. Well, that was something. Go shield wall. Hell yeah. Hmm. Son of doesn't he isn't getting much work done here. Um he doesn't have a net either, so we'll just move him up here. Finally. 41%, 58%. Good. Raise some corpses, raise two corpses, okay. This guy is indeed shield walling. He 
you know about caravan missions making legendary gear and armor and weapon shops. Yeah, but when you have noble houses pissed at you, especially two noble houses, it's not, um, it's not exactly doable to take caravan missions because you'll get attacked by, you know. Yeah, Noble War would be nice. I'd probably stop stop Breaking Bad, you know? Okay, this guy is shield walling. Come out of the other side very rich. Yeah, I could. Um, so he's going to get an action. So I think I might wait and then knock him back after he gets his action to end his shield wall so that he doesn't have it going into the next turn. And then we go on top, stopping this marksman from shooting anymore. Unless he footworks away or something. This thing's almost dead. Might be able to kill it before it gets a move. Not if I keep missing. Okay. Well, you know what, Mr. Necromancer? About to have a hard time. Yep, no more zombies. He's just going to have a fist fight with me now. Wonderful. <laughs> Perfect bros only matter in the super late game. I'd snatch any four to six hedge knight if you saw it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we could stab him and get his, um, his armor, but it's not actually good, it just looks cool. Um, it's probably worth money though, so why not? Yeah, I mean, Hedge Knights, um, I think it's more just for fun, you know? Hey, Chief of, Chief, Chief of Pumping Station, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Uh, sometimes the Necromancer has, like, a cleaver, but yeah, I, mean, I guess it's not really, not really a threat now. This, this, uh, this necromancer knows no fear, but I guess none of these guys do. Take their armor. Does Delight have a dagger? He does. How delightful. Ah. 
Yeah, that's the thing, is you can hire somebody who costs thousands and thousands of gold and you can't even get their stars, and the thing is that I don't I don't think doing the tryout tells you their stars, it just tells you their traits. Dark thick tunic. We actually didn't get his hat. Hmm. Basic male shirt. All that stabbing didn't get us much. Well, I'm saying that the tryout Oh, you want me to do it to see? Yeah, we could test it. There's a mod for trout so showing stars. Well, it should. I mean, there's there's no particularly great reason why it doesn't, and if you ask me. Okay, Stormworm is now level 5. We could give him a weapon mastery. He's going to be a two-handed guy. I don't think he's going to be like a ded dedicated billhook guy, though. Um, seems odd to have a dedicated two-hander who just uses pole arms. Yeah, stars stars are the driving factors in what we want in bros. Well, I want to, but if you're paying, you're paying for the for the privilege of knowing the stars. I'm talking about. I think tryout should show it. Um, I don't think it should be shown right off the bat. But I think I think if you're going to pay money to try out, you should. You know. Trace is huge though, I guess. I mean, it mostly just rules people out. Yeah, Biscuit, but I think I agree. Um, I think I might just give him nine lives, to be honest. We're trying to build a team full of outrageously tanky bros. Uh, probably wouldn't give him rotation, because he's more of a two-hander than a... I get rocked as two-hander? Um... Probably, but the thing is, he's he's Colossus Steelbrow, <laughs> so and he's going to end up nimble. So you'll notice how how much uh, Enish runs right into the front of the fight and doesn't die despite the fact that he's two-hander. Granted, he has a uh, 28 melee defense, so to be fair, <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, Stormworm's probably not going to end up with quite quite such good stats. I'm actually tempted to give him Gifted, just to get his melee defense up a bit. That level up we got offered a 1, so I didn't take it. Yeah, it's it's hard to... It's hard to say no to Gifted, to be honest. Later fights become longer. Yeah. Hmm... I think I actually will just give him gifted. Boom, three more melee defense. Fatigue, probably. Alrighty. El Kasup. My tankiest of bros. Well, actually, that's a plus four for his resolve, and it's still under 45, so... Tempting. Maybe instead of fatigue, although fatigue is king. Um, that's plus four without stars, so I kind of have to take it. So then it's down to HP and fatigue. Noble War itself will pit you against a company. You and a company against a company of like 26 strong with knights. That sounds pretty good. Fifty-three isn't enough? Fifty-three what? Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.